Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to manage Z-Wave or automation devices through Total Connect. Now this can be either done through the application on your smartphone or tablet or through the website. Today I'm actually going to be using the test drive feature on Total Connect 2.0 that actually has a lot of Z-Wave devices learned into it. So I just want to show you guys what they look like on the app. So I'm going to be using an Apple tablet. It doesn't matter if you're using Android or Apple, it's gonna be the same uh, same functionality, right? Maybe a different layout on the app, but it's still gonna be the same functions. So let me go ahead and get the app open. All right, give me one quick second here. All right, how do you, slide? there we go. All right, so. Right now I'm gonna open up the Total Connect app. It's gonna automatically log me in because I do have the auto sign in feature. So what I'm gonna do is gonna log me into my normal account, but I'm gonna sign back out and show you guys where to find the test drive feature. So as soon as it signs me in, let's give it a second. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit sign out in the top left. Now on the login screen, you're gonna see it's gonna ask you for a username, password. It'll have a check mark if you wanna say, if you wanna enable to keep me signed in. Or all the way at the bottom, you see that white button that says test drive. That button, if you hit it, it'll take you to a little demo of Total Connect 2.0. So if you don't have Total Connect 2.0 yet and you wanna see what it's like, you can go to totalconnect2.com or you can download the app and just hit the test drive feature. So as soon as you hit test drive, it takes you to the main screen that every, whenever you log into any user, or if you are monitored, whenever you log in, it takes you to this main screen. If you look at the bottom, you have your little navigation bar. And if you have automation enabled, automation will be one of the buttons in the navigation bar. So if I hit automation, it'll take me to all of my Z-Wave devices. Now this, this uh, test drive Total Connect account, actually has a thermostat, has a garage door, a living room light, uh, it's a dimmer, as you, can, as you can see it has a sliding feature so it can dim uh, to different percentages. Uh, the front door light is just uh, on and off. It has a water valve so you can turn off the water to the house and then it has the front door lock which is a Z-Wave lock. It allows you to control the door lock on, at the front door so you can unlock or lock it, right? So first thing I want to play around with is going to be the actual thermostat. So right now it gives you the uh, temperature it's set to right now. It says 73. If I click on that Z-Wave thermostat, it takes me to the thermostat settings page, right? So right there it says, gives me the outdoor temperature and the indoor temp, which is what we have set to 73. Now it has different modes, right? It has cool, it has auto, heat, energy save heat or energy save cool. Let's say I want to set it to auto. It's going to give me a cool and a set point. The cool point is basically once it reaches 85 degrees, it's going to turn on the cooling to bring the temperature back down. The heat point is if it drops to 76, you turn the heat on to make it a little bit hotter. Now, obviously me personally, <laughs> I don't even want to let the temperature get up to 85 or even 80. So I'm going to drop down the temperature. I like it at 76. Now, there can only be three degrees different in between your cool and heat point, right? So I would say if it reaches 76, I want the AC to turn on and start cooling. Um, if it reaches 68, I want the temperature to come on and just make it a little bit hotter. So that means you'll have your temperature pretty much in between 76 and 68. So I have mine set to there. Uh, uh, the thermostat will keep the temperature anywhere in between that. You Again, like I said, there can be a three degree difference. So if you want to drop the cool set point, you can actually drop it down to three degrees before, right? But it has to be three difference. If you, if you keep moving them lower, right now I'm doing the minus sign on the cool set point. When I do the minus sign, it also drops the heat set point. If I press the plus sign on the heat set point, it brings up the cool set point because they can only be six or three degrees apart. 
Um, you can play around with the fan instead of auto. You can have it on on all the time. Uh, the normal, you can hold it. No schedule. You can play around with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit the back button in the top left now to go to my other Z-Wave devices. So my garage door, it actually shows me the status. It says it's closed right now. If I go ahead and hit the button, it'll start opening, right? Since this is just a test drive feature, I don't actually have a garage door that it's opening, so it goes back to being closed. So it just gives, it shows you the option that you can open it, and then vice versa. If your garage door is open, it'll say open in where it says closed, and then you can just tap it to close the garage door. Now, this is all good. Let's say you're at work and uh, you need to let a family member in to grab something in from your garage or if you're on your way to work and you forgot if you left your garage door open, you can easily tell just by going into the automation screen of checking your total connect account. The living room lights is the dimmer light. I can dim it up halfway, 40%, 50%. Um, I can turn it up to 100%. I can also just hit the off button if I want to just turn it off or I can hit the on button if I want to turn it on right so you actually have to tap the light bulb so if I tap the light bulb it'll turn it on and then if I want to turn it off I'll just slide to the left the front door light is just an on and off light so there is no uh, dimmer so you either just tap it to turn it on or you tap it to turn it off again since this is just a test drive feature, it shows you that it's turning on, but it's not actually going to turn any device on. The water valve, you can turn it off or on as well. So again, if you're going away on vacation and uh, you want to turn off the water valve remotely or you need to turn it on, you can do so just by hitting the off, the on or off button and it'll do it. And then the front door, if you're, your kids are coming home from school and they don't have a key, you can unlock the front door for them or lock it. Uh, in case you forgot to lock it while you were on your way to work, right? So you can hit the lock, it'll stay locked, and then if you want to unlock it, you just hit the unlock. Um, now, all of these devices, they are going to be available when setting up your scenes. Now, this is the test drive account, so there are some scenes already set up. If I hit the scenes, which is again on the navigation bar at the bottom, you're going to go ahead and uh, it's going to show you the uh, scenes that have been already been made. If I hit the pencil icon next to each scene, it'll show you what devices they have uh, as, um, you know, being triggered. So like the coming home scene, it, it does require you to run the scene manually. But uh, what it does is when you run it, when you hit coming home, it's going to set the thermostat to 73 degrees. It's going to turn the front door light on. It's going to unlock the front door lock and then the garage door opens right so just by hitting the coming home all that happens your lights on your thermostat turns on or your, your thermostat is set to cool your front door lock unlocks and then your garage door opens and your lights come on right so you can play around with the scenes like that you can add a new scene in the top right by hitting the plus sign you give your scene a name and then you add multiple devices to it now again this was just a video to show you how you can play around with all the Z-Wave devices just from the automation page. So if, if you have a lot more Z-Wave devices than this, they're all going to show up on this, uh, on this application. If you guys do have any questions whatsoever, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. We'd love to help you guys out. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit like underneath. Enable notifications by hitting the little bell icon. That way when we upload new content, you guys are notified. And subscribe to our YouTube channel um and uh, yeah that's pretty much how to control z-way devices i'll see you guys next time